All right. Andrew Womack. Andrew Womack is a false prophet. Andrew Womack Ministries is the synagogue of Satan. False prophet, false ministry, Andrew Womack. God bless you. You viewers, get your Bible. This is one of the servants of Jesus Christ, the elder R.L. Dunlap Jr. We represent Jesus. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father, according to the Scripture. Jesus came to save us from our sin. All right. God bless you. <clears throat> Let's go right to where, excuse me. Andrew Womack. You know, we, you know, you know, we may not be aware of everything that's going on out there. We may not be aware of a lot of the devil teaching and the false doctrine and false churches and false prophets and false ministries. Like Andrew Womack. But, oh, you're going to be exposed. Jesus is not going to have you deceiving folks. And this clown, Andrew Womack, false prophet, child of the devil, ordained by Satan, and Andrew Womack, ministries of the devil. What led me here, I don't watch much religious TV, very little religious TV. If I flip this, I'm catch my eye, but I don't. And for me, I've heard of Andrew Romack. I even seen him from time to time. They don't pay much attention to him. But what brought me here, an uh, elder at our church, I know that he's from time to time, he'll make a statement. And now I see where that statement comes from. He made the statement that Jesus forgave our sin over 2,000 years ago. And all we have to do is just believe it and receive it. He forgave our sin over 2,000 years ago. And we don't have to do nothing but then believe it and receive it. He will make that statement from time to time. And he made that statement Sunday. And the Holy Ghost would have me to analyze where did this come from? So, so I went on to Google. And research that. And lo and behold, Andrew Womack. Now, what he got from him, I don't know, but he got it from the devil. And Andrew Womack is of the devil. So maybe someone that, you know, nevertheless. Look this up for yourself. Andrew Womack Ministries. Andrew Womack Ministries. Andrew Womack is a false prophet of his father, the devil, and his ministries of the devil. Allow you to see. Now, yes, this here to expose the lie, but expose it with the word of God so you won't be deceived. Andrew Womack Ministries. Redemption, redemption, redemption. Here's what Andrew Womack said. He said this. No, he said this. He said this. I'm going to begin this by dropping a bomb. 
Yeah, you dropped the bomb and it blew up on you. Listen to what the devil said, Andrew Womack. Sin is no longer an issue with God. We are redeemed. Right there. You just told a lie. Sin is not an issue with God. What? What? Sin is not an issue? Andrew Womack says sin is not an issue. How is sin not an issue when God sent his son Jesus Christ into the world to save us from our sin? How is sin not an issue when Jesus said he that believeth not shall be damned? How is sin not an issue with God when God said Rightness is all the nation, but sin is a reproach to, reproach to any people. How is sin not an issue with God when Adam and Eve were put out of God? And sin is the whole world. How is that not an issue with God? Andrew Wobeck lied. With that statement, you are either you are either rejoicing, shocked, or confused. Some rejoicing. And they comfortable in they see it. Some rejoice Just like they rejoice when you say ain't nobody putting. And we see it every day. Ain't nobody without seeing. Just like you rejoice when they say that. Some shock. Yeah, it's shock. Cause you lying, Andrew. Some confused. Yes, you confused in a simple mind. This is one radical statement. But one, I believe I can back up with the word of God. Well, you lying. You can't back up with the word of God, Andrew Womack. The message most people hear says, sin break your relationship or fellowship with God. The strictest message that you can lose your salvation backslide Every time you sin until it's confessed. I want to take time. And... Sin break your relationship with God. Let's go to the Bible and see what, what sin do. Let it go to Revelation here from Jesus' mouth. See about your relationship being broken. In Revelation chapter 2, look what Jesus said. Jesus said 2 and 4, Revelation 2 4, nevertheless, forgive what Womack said, listen to what Jesus said. Nevertheless, I have someone against you because you left your first love. That's sin. Remember therefore from which thou fallen and repent. And do your first work or else. I will come unto thee quickly. <coughs> I will remove the candlestick out of its place, except you repent. Another verse say, I spew you out of my mouth. Isn't that break relationship? Uh, or even backslide. He said, I spew you out of my mouth. When he put when God when Jesus puts you out, you out. Every branch of me that don't bear fruit, 50 times I say, John. Every branch that don't bear fruit, he take away. Correctly, let me we judge ourselves. We should not be judged, condemned with the world. All right. So we just clear that up. Womack, Womack lie. Andrew Womack, you a liar. The strictest message that you will lose your salvation backslide every time you see it until it's confessed. If you don't repent, if you don't repent, confess, repent, same thing. If you don't repent, yeah, you backslide. You leave Jesus. You rebellious. You stiff neck. 
if he don't repent. Remember God chasing whom he loved. Be zealous, therefore repent. Others believe your eternal salvation is still secure. Well, that's not true if you don't repent. If you don't repent, that's not what we read in, first, in, in Revelation. We didn't clear that up. But you lose fellowship, can't get your prayers answered, and can't be used of God if you sin. That's not good news since all of us sin. Now, he just told a lie. He said all of us sin. And he gave a scripture, Romans 3.23. Romans 3, 20, 3, do not say all of us sin. It's a all have sin to come short of the glory of God. And if you continue to read Romans 3 chapter, that's talked about apart from Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 5, walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Uh, Romans chapter 6, 6, don't use your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Shall we continue to say that great bear bow? God forbid it. Let everyone that name a name of Christ depart from iniquity. They shall say to me, to me in that day, Lord, we did many one works in your name. Then I will say, depart from me, you that work it iniquity. So Romans 3, 2, 3, don't say that. Then he gave first John 1 and 8. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. See, see that, see that, see that. Go first John 1 and 8. That scripture that devil Andrew Womack gave. Andrew, you better repent or hell's gonna be your portion and all you follow that false doctrine. This is for you. You better repent. First John 1 8. That's what Andrew gave. And then in the same interview that I turned, he quote that scripture. And I'm gonna show you something else. First John 1 8. We taking the scripture. And systematically showing you Andrew lying to you. For John 1 8. That scripture he gave now. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. What we? Watch it. Go to 1 and 6. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. So you say you have fellowship with God, you walk in darkness, you live in sin, you walk in sin, you refuse to repent, you a liar. So you who, fool, who refuse to re repent, you say you say you walk in the darkness, this talk about you if we say we have no sin. If you got sin and say you ain't got it, you a liar. Watch this, watch it, watch this. Christians use the code by trying to keep every sin confessed. You better confess your sin. You better turn from your sin. The Bible says repent. The Bible says go and sin no more. The Bible says in Romans 6, don't use your members as instruments of unrighteousness. It said don't do it. Romans chapter 6. In Timothy 2, 19, 2 Timothy, it said, the foundation of God standeth sure. Let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Uh, Acts chapter 3, the last verse, God sent his son Jesus to bless you, to bless us, and to turn in every one of us, every one of you away from your iniquity. Watch it. Then he say, let me put this bluntly. That's impossible. Womack is a liar. Womack is a liar. You be ain't going to confess when you're wrong. Remember David, a man out of God's own heart. Remember he confessed when he was wrong. He said, against thee, against thee only have I seen, Lord. Remember that? 
he that exalt himself shall not be shall be amazed. Watch it, watch it, watch it. The Bible says whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Romans 14, 23. Let's go there. Say you set up these folk. See. Romans 14, 23. That, that, that was, is that what that liar had? Romans 14, 23. Excuse me. Fourteen twenty three. Well, they're not wrong. Fourteen twenty three. Oh, and he that doubted is damned if he eat, because he eat not in faith. For what you will not in faith see it. This is talking about eating meat. There's all, and you also read all that dealing with the meat issue. You don't believe Jesus. You still believe the rules and regulation in the tradition of the fathers. You don't believe Jesus. For the right of God is not meat and drink. K Clone. You, you see, you see how Womack lied? He gave another scripture. Do we always walk in faith? Question. James 4 17. Let go of James 4 17. See, you did your disobedience. Don't take away from the scripture. That means you disobey. The wrath of God come on to the disobedience. That scripture. James 4 17. Andrew Womack. Lying devil. Watch it. Watch it. The quarter was, do we do we always walk in faith? James 4 17 is what he gave. James 4 17 reveals that sin is the only thing we do wrong, but it's not doing what we know is right. We would claim, would claim they are loving God and others as they know they should. By these definitions, we all sin. You are lying down. James 4 17. Therefore, let him, therefore, to him that know it do good and do it not, to him it is sin. You mean tell me you have the spirit of God and you, know, and you know to do good and you ain't doing good? Is that what you try to tell me? Go to 1 John 5. Well, yeah, read John, 1 John 5. The wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. The wrath of God. Here's a summary from Dog Time. Uh -uh. Why dogs? The wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. The wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. Here is some information for the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. According to Bill's Bible Basics homepage, let no man... Colossians 3, 6. You that watch it, you better repent. Don't believe that lie. Won't I tell you? Colossians 3, 6. That's the Colossians 3 6. Read with us. I'm giving you scripture. I'm giving you what the Bible says. Not what Womack Mo Mo say. Let's start, let, let's start with four. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore the members of your, the members which are upon earth. Fornication, unclean, in law, and affection, evil concupiscence, covenant, which is our daughter, for which things say the wrath of God coming on children of disobedience. In the, in the which ye also walk sometime when you live this live. You used to live like that. You ain't living like that no more. Call you following Jesus Christ. You have the nature of God. You feel with the Holy Ghost. Your sin washed away. You, 
You you sin, you better stop it. You better repent. The God rap coming on you. You going to hell if you don't repent, if you don't stop it. All right. <clears throat> By these definition, we all sin through the weakness of our flesh. It, it's impossible to keep every sin confessed. You are lying lie. If you sin it every day, if you're doing all that sin, it's impossible to keep it confessed. You ain't saved. You need to be saved. You ain't walking out of the spirit. But if you walk out of the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you walk out of the spirit, you ain't sinning every day. You resisted the devil and he fleeing from you. Galatians 5, 19. Won't take my... Look at 519. Look at all that sin. Look at all that sin. In 1920, 21, Galilee 5, 1920, 21. Now look at 16. This I say, they walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You do it all that sin every day and all that kind of thing, and you disobey God all willy nilly. You say it's impossible. Well, you're doing a whole lot of sin, and it's impossible to do that. <laughs> Don't sin. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Jesus said, did I might say, did if you could, if you could take it my word. All right, let's get some more of this lying. Even when it, even if it, if it were possible, that put the burden of salvation on our backs. You are lying, lying. Though, though you have to do your job and walk in the spirit that we just read to you and we just gave you scripture, you got to do your part. You got to keep 1 John 5, this is the love of God, that we keep in commandment. You got to keep his commandment. If you love me, Jesus say, keep my commandment. You my friend if you do whatever I say. Jesus said, I'm giving you scripture. Not what Womack said. Let, let's get that. Say John 17, I believe I'm on. Or John 17. I believe I'm on. Hallelujah. Uh, All right. John 15, 14. Ye are my friend if you do whatever I command you. So why do you not do what Jesus command you? All right, you watching me, you better repent. There wouldn't be any peace, any peace or rest in our relationship with the Lord. If that's the way it worked, Romans 5 1. He gave Roman 5 1. Let go there and show him a liar. Roman 5 1. Devil being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we are accessed by faith into this grave wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Huh? See that? See that? Now, if you keep on reading there and you read on down to verse 6. For when we were without strength. Womack talking about without strength. In due time, Christ died for an ungodly. You still ungodly. For scarce a righteous man would want to die. Pretty eventually a good man would want even death to die. But God committed his love to another that why we get sinned to Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we should be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we are reconciled to God by his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Excuse me. You ain't justified, you ain't made righteous if you ain't living righteous. You ain't made righteous. You break all the commandments. They're going for them. Most people, including Christians, 
Then Mo, Mo back say, Mo people include Chris C. Forgiveness of sin. That's something that God can do and continues to do, but not as something he has completed. <clears throat> From that come the false concept that we must come to confess our sin with mate, which make which make and keep us sin constant. The New Testament, you better confess your sin. Now, I'm going to show you this. The New Testament presents forgiveness of sin as something that's already accomplished. No, it don't. The blood is for the remission of sin. It's not already accomplished. It's not accomplished in, in, in you until you believe and you call on him and you repent. Luke 24, 40, 44, 45, 46, 47. If you don't repent, your sins ain't forgiven. Then he came to Hebrew 10, 12. That's talking about the law. The law was conscious of sin. Wait, 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 wait. Go there. Go there. Well, he gave, well, he gave 10, Hebrew 10, 1 and 2. That's talking about the law. That really had to keep all the sacrifice for your sin. But Jesus took away your sin. So why you still got sin? Hebrew 10. <clears throat> See, that was talking about the law. Hebrew 10, 1 and 2. Not going forward. It was not proper that the blood of the bull go should take away sins. Huh? <clears throat> Watch it, verse 10. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. You're sanctified. Yo, you ain't sanctified, you living in sin. You a lying lie. You ain't sanctified. You a hypocrite. 12, but this man after he had offered one sacrifice of sin, but ever sat down on the right hand of God. <sighs> for by one offer he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. He perfected you. What you still doing with sin? You ain't sanctified and got sin. Yeah. And 17 to 16, this is the covenant I would make with them in those days. said, Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts. Laws in the heart. If laws in your heart, you ain't breaking the laws. And in their mind, will I write there? Now, why are you disobeying the sin? And their sins and iniquity, I will remember no more. For where remission of these is, there is no more offer of sin. Your sin is remission. How you get that? Luke 24, what said. Repentance and remission of sin should be preached. You got to repent. You got to turn. All right, boy, let move. Ask yourself, what could do forgiveness of sin with this house? Jesus was the Lamb. No, Jesus is the Lamb of God. Jesus was the Lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. John 129. Behold, the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. It was through the shedding of Jesus' blood that gave, that you received redemption. Which is forgiven of sin, eat feed in one seven. Let go to eat feed in one seven. All right, God. I'm trying to rush through this. Hallelujah. Glory to God all day and night. Eat feed in one seven. In whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiven of sin according to his, to, to his riches and his grace. Watch it. One four, he feed one four. According he had told us before him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. What do without blame be? What does it mean, Womack? Hallelujah. Hope. God. All right. That won't take <laughs> Then you got Colossians 114. Let go of that. Colossians 114. One fourteen. 
in whom we have redemption through his blood, even to forgive us sin. Well, man, why you didn't read 13? People, read 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. That sin, that's the devil. How you live from the power of darkness and you still in darkness and walking in darkness. It had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. You walking in darkness. All right. When, G, when did Jesus die and shed his blood? I said about 2,000 years ago. He would never die again. Romans 6, 9, 10. Go to Romans 6, 9, and 10. Hallelujah. Now, 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 he, now the devil showed, the devil showed blind in him. Go to Romans 6, 9, and 10. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said 6, 9, and 10. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead died no more. Ten. But well, devil had no more men on him. For in that he died, he died on the same one. In that he lived, he lived unto God. Watch it. Like I reckon ye also yourselves did first you live to be dead indeed on the sin, but alive to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin devil reign in your mortal body. Don't let it reign in your body. That you should obey it in lust thereof. Neither yield your members that is submitted to unrighteousness, that's verse 13, on the sin. But yield yourself to God. You yield to God, you ain't yielding to sin, you ain't sinning. That's verse 13. There you go, verse 14. Yeah? There you go, 15. There you go, 16. Romans 6. He dealt with the sins of the human way one. For all time. Hebrew 9, 25, 28. And this is, whew, this is fairly long. And, and Hebrew 10, 10, 14. Jesus sacrificed by our sin is already an accomplished work. Yes, he already sacrificed, but until you come and repent. Act 2, 38, Act 3, 19. And, and, Unless you repent, you don't have forgiveness of sin. Unless you believe, unless you call on him, unless you will to live the life, unless you turn from your sin and iniquity, unless you call on him, believe him, and take away your sin. You, Acts 3, 17, 18, 19, Acts 2, 38. Luke. 217. Ma 115. It don't happen until you do what you gotta do. You gotta believe. You gotta call on him, Romans 10 13. You gotta believe. We don't have that Jesus to forgive us our sin. You crazy. You crazy. You have lost your mind. We don't have that Jesus to forgive us our sin. What? What? You don't lie. You just lie. He already done it. No, he didn't. Paul didn't tell Philippians, hey, who, who had Jesus forgive him? Paul told him to believe on what Jesus already done and he would be saved. And Acts 16, 31, he told, he, he told Philippians, hey, believe on Lord Jesus with all your heart. Now he wanted to be saved. Romans 10 and 9, which he got. Believe he died. And God raised from there, thou shalt be saved. For what the hard man believe unto righteousness. Do you believe God to make you right? Do you believe Jesus Christ to make you righteous? The Son of God. You believe that? Do you want to be righteous? Are you ready to live that life? Are you ready to repair of your sin? Because that's what Jesus said. When Jesus rose, Luke 24, 47. And that repentance and remission of sin. You believe Jesus to be saved. Repentance and remission of sin. Corinthians chapter 6, begin with verse 9. And such were some of you, but now you are justified, now you are washed, now you are sanctified. Corinthians 6, 9. So, so when you believe Jesus Christ, you won't be saved. That means you won't be saved from sin. Matthew 1, 21. 
That means you want your sin to take it away. That's what that means. First John 3. How you? Lord help. I don't want my computer correct. First John 3. And 5. Well, 3, 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, but sin is transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sin, and in him is no sin. Eight. He that committed sin is of the devil. Alright. We don't have to ask Jesus to, to, to forgive us. You a lying lie. You a lie. You a lie. You got to ask him, then you got to turn. Does that mean everyone in the whole world is saved? Certainly not. We have to receive forgiveness by faith. Act 26, 12. Act 26, 12. Act 26, 12. Receive. We got to receive it. See, see that's the thing now. Just receive it. At 26 and 12. Watch it. Now I mean 26 and 18. Whatever he got, 26 and 18. To open their clown. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. How you turn from darkness to light and you still in darkness? And for the power of Satan. We did read here commit sins of a devil. Unto God. In John 8, 31, he that commits sin in service. I believe that Jesus said he that commits sin in service. But he was son said, free and free indeed. And, and sin shall have no more dominion over you. Now that's in Romans 6. For the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin. How you going to receive forgiveness of sin if you still with Satan? Turn from darkness to light. Darkness is sin. Jesus is light of the world. You got to turn from darkness to light. You got to repent. And from the power of Satan to the power of God. That they may receive forgiveness of sin. Only way to do that is turn from darkness to light. You got to repent. Turn from Satan. Turn, from, turn to God. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, God's son. Turn from Satan. Turn from sin. Turn to Jesus. Believe him to make you righteous. Without the law. Call on him to do it. Romans 10 13. Who's going to call on the name of him? Be saved. Saved from sin. The Lord has already forgiven everyone's sin. You a lying liar. Ain't that scripture don't say it nowhere. John, then you got John 2 2. <laughs> that may be behold the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. I think that's what that is. That's great. You don't know about no grace. All right, here we are. Go to Titus 2 and 11. Yo, we, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, do Titus 2 and 11, but do Romans 6 and 15. You don't know about no grace. What then shall we see? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. God forbid. Know ye not that who ye is your, yourself serve to obey his servant? Ye are whom ye obey, whether sin or the death, or obedience to righteousness. You obey sin yourself. You obey righteousness. You righteous. Hallelujah. Read Titus 2 11. Now, then, look, that's a good one. E Ephesians 2 and 8. That's good. That's a good one. Come on, come on, Ephesians 2 and 8. This script that the devil gave a false prophet to you. If he too today, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself, it's the gift of gift of God. Read two nine. Not the work that is man should bold. Read two ten. We are his workmanship created Christ Jesus on two good works which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Alright. Therefore it's not therefore it's not a person. Many sin that sin in the hell, you a lying lie. Sin ain't gonna see in the hell. You better read Revelation 21 8. You better believe, read uh, 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 15, uh, Galatians 5 19. 
You're a lie. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna enter the kingdom of God. Sin has already been paid for and forgiven. It's a singular sin of not believing on Jesus. You don't believe Jesus. And we're going to end it right there. You don't believe Jesus. You don't believe Jesus. And we're going to end it right there. Go to John 3. That's a good place to end. You say you believe Jesus. You don't believe Jesus. John 3 and 19. Did they could the condemnate their life coming into the world and men love dog and rev their life because their deeds are evil? Everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither come into the light, lest it deeds shall be reproved. Jesus said this. You better repent. Repent of your sin, people. Turn to Jesus Christ. Believe Jesus Christ to take away your sin. Call on him. Ask him to save you. For John 1 9, we confess our sin, he favored us. To forgive what I said, clear for all unrighteous. Call Jesus, the Son of God. Believe Him to take away your sin, make you righteous. His blood for remission of your sin, Matthew 26 26. His blood for the remission of your sin, He told us a priest, repentance and remission of sin, Luke 24 47. Through Jesus, remission of sin, He takes your sin away. Through His blood, He cleans you from all your sin. Now you go and sin no more. Jesus will do that. Ask him. Believe him. Call on him. Repent. Thank you for very false prophet Andrew Womack ministry. You lying demon. People, we just read scripture. Save your soul. God bless you. Thank you for very